to Route 66 and Car Mechanic Simulator. I recently came across a super cool mod for this game. It's fast. It has so much customization. If we're going to do this properly, we need to hit up the junkyard and go find it. I wonder how long this is going to take. Recently, we've had some pretty good luck in the junkyard. Hopefully, it doesn't take us like an hour to find the car. <laughs> It's here! Say hello to our BMW M2. Hey, in case you missed it, my real-life Toyota GR86 race car is finally done being built. And next week, it's going to get wrapped. And that means it's your last chance to put your name or your gamer tag on the car. All you need to do to put your name on the car is head over to the AR12 sticker store, buy one of these AR12 glitter stickers, and at checkout, you can put some notes for your name or your gamer tag that you'd like us to write on the car. We only have a couple of spots left, so don't wait too long. There's a link down below. Thanks for all the support. In its previous life, it was a race car by the looks of it. It's got a cool hood. It's got a cool wide body kit. It's got this racy front bumper. It's also got weight reduction for an engine. It also has a lot of weight reduction on the rear. And it only cost 18 grand. Thank you. Off to the garage. It looks so good. Is this a hot take? I think the BMW M2 is the nicest BMW on sale today. As much as I love M3s, M4s, and all stuff like that, this M2 for me, so nice. Anyways, we're gonna start by ripping all of the bits and bobs off. I guess before we go any further, we should probably get a quick car wash going. We've got a carbon fiber roof. Oh, and it's fully scratched up. Yo, look at the interior. Get it all soapy, just like your... I know you guys might think this car is brown, but once I bring over the welder, then we can get rid of all of the rust on it and we'll, it will no longer be brown. Look at that. It cleans all that up, cleans all that up. This is looking... It actually might have been like a silver gray by the looks of it. I do need to ask the question. Since this is a junkyard BMW and we're a dodgy car dealer, we do the used car special. We gotta make some money with our BMW and the only way of doing that is by ripping off our customers. Duh! If we weren't ripping off our customers, what type of car dealer do you think this is? As I've said before, the best way to remove rust from your car is to paint it over with spray paint in black. Kind of an unknown trick the car industry doesn't want you to know. I'm gonna change out the bits and bobs they can see, like the brakes, for example. I guess we'll also change out the wheel hub since you can kind of see that. Think about it. It's the three R's of being environmentally friendly. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Consumer rights laws hate this one small trick. <laughs> By not buying more parts for this BMW, we are saving the environment. From this angle, you can't see any of the weight reduction. Anyways, we've already got all of our suspension, so let's quickly throw all of this stuff on. Doesn't this look like a great car? We are so environmentally friendly today. Well, to be fair, I guess if you don't acknowledge the problem, the problem doesn't exist. It's kind of like Ferrari and pit stops and strategy. This video is only going to come out after the first Formula One race of the season. So either this video is gonna age very well or shit, 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 or very that. As soon as we get the wheels in there, you'll never be able to see any of these suspension bits, especially after our wide body kit, but that's future me's problem. We need to get an engine in this thing. So boys, if you were a BMW M2, what e no engine swap? Wait, the only engine that I can put is an i6 twin turbo? Let's begin work on our brand new engine. I'm gonna buy as many parts as I can from the tuning shop. All of the parts that I buy from here are gonna give me extra horsepower. 0.6% might not sound like a lot of horsepower. After you add it up with all of the upgrades we're doing, it's gonna be a lot of horsepower. Look at how many things we need for this. Exhaust manifold fold there are our turbos down there oh that's so cool get some upgraded exhaust manifolds look at that turbo our turbos are gonna give us an extra 12 percent horsepower this might be like a thousand horsepower oh there's our throttle on the side there we can definitely get a good throttle extra three percent horsepower from that it might not sound like a lot but all of these little additions are gonna help massively oh my God, that's the intercooler. Look at this intercooler pipe. 
Why are we getting extra horsepower from a bit of pipe? Maybe because it's thick. All right, never mind. We're gonna move on from this conversation. I think everything for the actual engine is all done. I think we've just got to flip it on over. We're gonna have to do up a ton of bolts under here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we should be good. Toss the oil pan on and we're good, baby. Now that I think about it, are we on pace to get a new car mechanic simulator game this year? We've had car mechanic sim 50, then car mechanic sim 19. Then we had Car Mechanic Sim 2021. This is Car Mechanic Sim 2021. I wonder if a new Car Mechanic Sim game is coming out this year. Engine is in. Engine very good. We need a whole bunch of parts in here, like an air filter base, a radiator, and so on. So let me get all this stuff in quick. I wonder if I could get a custom gearbox as well for this thing. Since we've gone in and put like quite a bit extra horsepower in, we're probably gonna want a custom gearbox. So let's go for that guy. And then we can get our drive shaft in. I'm just saying it would be cool if we could get like a carbon fiber drive shaft. That would be quite nice. I think the only other thing I have to get in is just this medium intercooler. We need to figure out how wide body we want our car to be. These are all of the different fenders. So there are five. There's like a stock. I guess that's a stock BMW 2 Series fender. Then there's like an M2 Performance one. Then Avante. I don't know what that is, but it sounds cool. I kind of like the cutout one. So let's go for number three. Let's do the same thing in the rear as well. I think that'll look pretty good. Let's toss this on. Hopefully this isn't too wide. Nope. But it does look pretty cool. Oh, we are making this thing look cool. Look at that intake. I mean, the intake doesn't lead to anything, but it looks cool, okay? There's no chance that these things fit, right? 21 inch, 345s, there's no way. Oh, uh, what in the Forza Motorsport fitment is that? I need new 21 inch wheels with big offset. All right, attempt number two, no Forza Motorsport fitment, please. Hey, 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 we take that. That is like the perfect fitment. Let's get all of our body work onto this thing now. I need a hood, I need some headlights, and I need a front bumper. I guess let's start with the hood. So we've got five different options for this again. We've got like a regular hood, an Avante hood. That one looks a bit boring. This one looks very cool. I like the black. This one also very nice. And this one is Speed Hunters. I think I'm gonna go number three. It kind of has BMW M3 vibes from back in the day. You know what I mean? I think I'm gonna go with this one with the blacked out front. Very nice. Headlights are very normal. I'm just gonna go with these ones. Thank you. Doors, we have no customization options, so we'll just grab those. Look at all of the wing mirror options. I hate them all. I'm gonna go for the regular M performance carbon fiber ones. Do you call this a windscreen or a windshield? I call it a windscreen. Get the rear window in. Very nice. Get the trunk. Forgot about that. Trunk is very simple. Do we want the BMW and the M2 badge? Do we just want the BMW badge? I think I want to flex. I want the M2 badge, bro. All we need is a rear wing. M performance isn't bad, but it's a little boring. I kind of like the lip. The lip is definitely boring, but I do like it. Maybe with this. Maybe this. I think this is a nice middle ground. Let's see. It's very subtle, but I think that's all you need, you know? That looks insane. All right, let's take this thing to the paint booth and let's see what we can do. A bit bigger would have been nice, but I think overall, we have a bit of a problem with our front bumper. Okay, that one fits. That's fine. We are good. We are in business. Okay, back to painting. We can do BMW baby blue. That looks good. White's not bad. Black's a little boring. Red's a little boring. I really like this. I'm gonna do it. Baby blue. 100%. It works! All right. I haven't tuned this thing at all just yet, so we're just gonna see what type of horsepower it can build. Let's see. What did I say before? I said like 857 before or something like that. Oh! Thousand horsepower, baby! Let's go! If I go behind the dyno, tuning... I can tune my ECU. To achieve the best performance from ECU tuning, you need to align all the bars. Higher position, better performance. That's an extra 6%. I think that's pretty good. Let's apply that tune. And then I have no tuning carburetor, so I can't tune that, obviously. Let's give it another go on the dyno. Give me a thousand two with the new tune. I don't think the tuning was the most worthwhile thing, if I'm honest. What a sick car. All right, let's give it a test drive. Is 
this the first car in Car Mechanic Simulator that sounds good? Bro, 300 kilometers an hour too? This might be my best car I've ever made. I can actually do top speed. It does look incredible. Let's take it to the drag strip. I'm not gonna do any practice. I'm immediately gonna jump into the quarter mile tournament. We're all the way up in A class. We might be racing some really fast stuff. Oh, for God's sake say handbrake and then watch the lights and hope for the best away we go come on no way no way shift 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 you donkey you more well boys uh i don't think i'm gonna win this one ready watch the lights go wait what wait what wait BMW M2 out of nowhere. R34 is washed. Off to round two. Round two, we're racing a C8 Corvette convertible. Watch the lights. Go. Corvette gets a good lunge, but we're able to put the power down nicer. We got him, baby. We got him. Let's go. This thing is rapid. Round three, here we come. And it's another GTR we're racing. GTR's about to get rinsed again. Rev it up. Bad launch, bad launch. Come on, come on. Reel him in with power. Reel him in, reel him in. Got him, got him. A thousand one hundred horsepower is so good. Yeah, that was that was not a great reaction time. The GTR launched so much better than I did, and we are off to the final round. A Koenigsegg? How is a Koenigsegg in the same class as me? Lights. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. No. No. That was. So so close! 8.29 to 8.27. If I had a better reaction time, I would have won. For the moment of truth, little BMW M2. It's worth 207,000. And nobody would ever know that it's actually a death trap. 